What Hi-Fi Product of the Year awards are like world records. Anyone who gets one is obviously very deserving of it, and it tends to be only a matter of time before somebody else takes it away. So, roughly speaking, AKG's four Product of the Year awards in a row for its utterly remarkable Y50 on-ear headphones is, I reckon, comparable to Bob Beeman holding the world long jump record for almost 23 years. So what makes the Y50s able to see off any amount of very capable opposition year in, year out? On the face of it, they're a pretty standard design. There's a limit to how far the look of an on-ear headphone can be stretched after all. And apart from some rather sudden colours and some very bold branding, the Y50s don't look out of the ordinary. They are beautifully made, mind you, and feel like they can cope with the abuse of a commute with all its wire tangling and shoving in and out of pockets or bags for years on end. Aluminium, stainless steel and leather are all incorporated into the Y50's design, giving them an upmarket feel in the manner of a well-appointed car interior. Anyone can build a pair of headphones that look and feel agreeable though, many companies do with varying degrees of success. But building a pair of headphones that look and feel agreeable, don't cost the earth and sound excellent, that's much trickier. So tricky, in fact, no one's been able to knock AKG off its perch, even though they've had four years to come up with something. The Y50s are simply more adept than any price comparable rival. When talk turns to timing, to rhythmic discipline, to focus and to soundstage, there's nothing to touch them. That's equally true of dynamics, of detail retrieval, and to cut a longish story short, of every other aspect of music reproduction you care to mention. At first glance, it might be possible to dismiss the Y50s as an exercise in style over substance, especially in any of the finishes that aren't black. But you don't need to listen for long. To know substance is what these AKGs are all about.